Jared Aaron making this video for you. This is the uh, the Mini 14. So it's a lot like a uh, M14 or an M1A, but chambered in 223. So you can see the the. Uh, let me see if I can switch hands here. The bolt does the same. Rotate to unlock. Okay. And all wood. The difference is the top hand guard. It's got a short barrel on it. Um, that's actually a 14 inch barrel with a, a 2 inch flash suppressor. Or maybe a 13 inch barrel with a 4 inch flash suppressor. Or five, 3 inch flash suppressor. I don't know. But it's a shy way of from being an illegal short barrel rifle, but it's permanently welded, so it's it's legal. I don't know if you can see that. So there's that. I want to get a different top handguard for it because I kind of like to be able to see the rail on the sign. It's kind of an M1 Grand M14 thing. Um, it is missing a rear sight, which you can pick one of those up from the. Ruger for about 30 bucks, or I can get an aftermarket one for um, about 60, which is a real nice aftermarket one. I did trade for it, traded a shotgun for it actually. So, not my grandpa's shotgun, I know you're worried, but I didn't trade that. Uh, it uses, I've got a 30 round mag and a 20 round mag for it, and uh, they're curved. And Going just like a, just like the M M1A. I can do this with one hand here. So, air curve because it's 223, so it's a little different. But uh, yeah, overall pretty neat little rifle. Locks back on the thing there. So yeah, there you go. Newest, newest. Uh, member of the collection and uh, got it sitting in here with Mosin Nagant and the Mauser but there you go